Hi YouTube, today I've got something a little bit different. I've got some pieces of metal here. This is just regular mild steel. It is three-eighths of an inch in thickness, so it's about eight millimeters. I have to forgive the mess both on the welding table and in the garage here. This is not staged. <laughs> anyway, so I've got these little pieces. I've ground the mill scale off of both sides of these two. So that we can weld and I've ground the middle scale in the middle of these two. So I'm going to weld some basic T-joints here and I want to compare some stick welding and some MIG welding. So I've got both of these machines loaded up with 035 wire. They're different brands but I don't think it'll make too much of a difference. They both run really well. This one's got Unibray's brand from Princess Auto. And this one's got a brand new roll of link and electric wire. And what else can I say? Uh, settings wise, on the, the Lincoln, we're good. we got 035, 100% CO2. We're going to have it about at 4.5E. So that means 4.5 on the wire feed speed and E on the voltage. And for the big machine, it's not going to display everything right now. About 23 and a half volts, 550 inches a minute. We're going to take a reading of the current on here because when you weld with this machine, it displays the amps. Okay, so we're ready to go. First thing I'm going to do is draw a good position. Like that. I'm going to tack this to the table. This one to the table. I can weld this one after as well. Didn't like welding through the mill scale there. Five seconds with the propane torch. So I'm going to change color ever so slightly. And clean that up. I think that looks good. So, do we do more passes? I guess it's a 3 8 piece of plate, so it should should have a bigger weld than that. So, how about we do some more passes? as far as size goes that's probably a pretty good size weld and I think that looks pretty good it's hard to get uh, good lighting on that but okay next up I'm gonna hook up the big boy and we're gonna weld this one I'm gonna give this the same preheat and we're gonna run um, 550 inches a minute we're close to 560 and 23 and a half volts. We're gonna cook that plate. 
but uh, I will preheat that as well beforehand. <laughs> Five seconds of preheat in that. Recess here. Can you see that? At about four or five millimeters of recess there because the stick out for this dual shield wire has to be longer. to 500 inches per minute and 27 volts. Thank <laughs> you. 
balls right now. I'd fly on my finger. So I hummed and hawed about this whether to use one eighth. 530 seconds or 3 16 70 18. I think I'm going to use 1 8 and then I might have to do a future video where we compare these. But for now, I'm going to stick with this. Everybody watching this video who has a stick welder can run this. Um, if you've got a 120 volt stick welder, maybe not, but if you have a 120 volt stick welder, you're not welding this. But if you've got something that'll put out 160 amps, I think you can run this, and I think this is reasonable, but we're going to find out. So let's use the 1.8. So I've got my pieces cut and polished, or I mean polished as well as I can. They're warm. I've got some ferric chloride here, which is um, something you can get from an electronics shop. I got this locally here in, uh, in Vancouver. And this is used to etch uh, printed circuit boards. But you can also use it to etch welds. I think these samples are too hot.
So this here is the uh, maxed out setting MIG weld and the bottom there, that's some serious penetration. Probably close to a third of the way down through the plate. And you can see that my top weld there penetrated the same thing, close to a third of the way. And then this on the right here is the stick weld. And um, I used 1 8 7018 on there. And maybe that's why the welds aren't super huge and didn't penetrate very deep. But um, honestly, out of all these four, I would say that the MIG, short circuit MIG, on CO2 is the king. And... Oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. So this is the dual shield here. And the dual shield did decent, but... You know, it didn't penetrate that deeply, to be perfectly honest with you. And I know this one's really hard to see. This is the MIG on 180 amp settings. And it still fused pretty close to all the way through to the root. And, you know, it did penetrate a little bit, but not as much as the dual shield, obviously. But uh, overall, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that the, the uh, short circuit MIG on CO2 went that deep. And honestly, out of all these, I would go MIG. MIG with CO2.